Hi, I'm Brooks Brown, one of the co-founders of Advanced Purification and Santa Sayer Ozone Generators. In this video, I'll briefly share with you how to use our Santa Sayer Ozone Generators. First of all, make sure you buy the right ozone generator for the size of the job. There's a chart on this page or our website that explains what size to buy. Remember, if you buy one of the larger units, it'll give you more flexible treatment options. Secondly, uh, preparation before treatment. Ozone generators are designed for indoor use only. Make sure you operate them in a dry environment and always read the manual before operating an electrical device. Verify that the generator is operating properly, turn it on, and listen for the noise of the sparks created on the ozone plates. That's what creates actually the ozone. Identify the source of the problem, which is usually water, and eliminate the water source. This might be as simple as improving the flow of your downspout system to push water away from the home or fixing a roof leak. For damp basements, we also suggest you get a dehumidifier to help reduce moisture levels. If you have a flood or mold situation, make sure to remove the effective organic material in the area, such as cardboard, that could hold the moisture and harbor the mold. Uh, choosing the treatment protocol, if you're, if you're wanting to use the generators for daily disinfection, this is going to be a light treatment that can be conducted daily, often in commercial applications like restaurants, doctor's offices, elderly or, or, or child care, or really kind of into anywhere indoors is frequented by people on a daily basis that can be vacated each evening so that a regular treatment can be conducted. The other style of treatment is considered a shock treatment. This is a heavier treatment was done to attack a specific odor, allergen, VOC, or mold or mildew issue. Regardless of the protocol with these, all people, pets, and plants must be removed from the treatment area. And the area should be secured to prevent anyone from re-entering that space. Don't assume that more is better as well. Um, the Santa Sierra line of ozone generators deliver higher levels of ozone generators than most of our competitors especially those made in China. In fact, some of the China manufacturers tell you that they'll treat a certain size area that is well beyond the capabilities of their equipment. So be very cautious about it. It's all about output. So see the treatment recommendation chart on our website for more specific generator run times and stick with it. Remember, you can always retreat if more is needed. With shock treatments, use the timer that comes with the generator to pulse the ozone delivery. Do not run the generators constantly. You can't overdo it, so be careful. Uh, and number five, lastly, uh, what to do or expect after treatment has been informed. When you return to the treatment hour uh, area three to four hours after the last cycle, you'll notice that ultra-fresh smell, which will remind some as the fragrance of clothes that have come out of an, uh, off from an outdoor clothesline, and others have often described this as a smell of the ocean or the air after a thunderstorm. This fresh air aroma, a pleasant benefit of an ozone shock treatment, will usually dissipate within a few days. What remains are the odors then of the natural wood, slate, stone, or other building materials. Uh, I always use this, uh, this uh, example We've treated like YMCA facilities that have saunas, and the saunas get just so nasty, it's, it's unbelievable. Once we treat, it smells like a brand new cedar sauna again. Uh, we've also done like old farmhouses that we come back in and it smells like fresh cut wood is just, just you know, happened right there in the foyer. It's, it's the 100 year old wood floors that you're bringing back that natural uh, um, or, uh, odor of the, the uh, original material. So it's, it's amazing uh, what this can do. So in addition, oils from your skin can leave a residue on hard surfaces such as kitchen tables, um, and the oils from your hands will be attacked by the ozone, which will oxidize them and can leave the surface a bit tacky. The same can be said for TV remotes or cabinet handles or literally anywhere there's high contact items. And this can be easily cleaned up with a warm soapy water to remove the tack. Again, if you have any other uh, questions, feel free to reach out at 740-387-PURE. That's 740-387-7873. Thank you very much and have a great day.